Today, we're going to talk about right and left hand limits. Right? So we've been talking about limits in general at a point, and what we've said is the limit is the value that the y values approach as you approach some x value. Um, and we quite often I'll talk about as you come in from both sides on the x's, what are the y values approaching? And it turns out that it's sometimes useful to look at a uh, function from just one side um, or the other. In other words, from just the right or from the left. So we might have a graph that looks, you know, something that's like maybe piecewise defined. And maybe we're looking at like negative three. And we have a function that's got an open hole here, goes off to the right like that. And, um, you know, close hole here. And maybe it's a line. And so maybe this is like, you know, negative four. And maybe on the x right here, this value is positive um, two. Well, actually, it looks about the same. So maybe that's uh, positive four. Okay. And so we have this piecewise defined function, and we see that at negative three, the function is clearly not defined. There's a jump discontinuity there. And, uh, but it might be interesting to know what's going on um, near negative three from each side. All right, so here's the definitions of right hand and left hand. We'll start with right hand. This is read as the limit of f of x, or the limit of f, as x approaches c from the positive side, a little plus symbol here, right next to the c. And um, it's the positive side, so we say it's from the right hand side. All right, so in our example, we might ask ourselves, what is the limit as x approaches negative three from the right of f of x. And we look at this and we say, okay, well, we'll come in from the right hand side and we will get close to positive four. Okay, so this is equal to four, All right? And then you might say, well, that's fine. What about the other side? Well, that would be the limit as x approaches negative three from the negative side. So we put a little minus sign there. Sorry, it's all getting squished on that side of the board. Um, but back to the, the formal definition, which you should write down in your notes probably, the limit as x approaches c, the limit of f of x, as x approaches c from the left or from the negative side, that's the left-hand limit. So over here, as we approach negative 3 on the x's, what are the y values doing? They're getting closer to negative 4. Okay, so this is equal to bad board management, negative 4, All right? So, and you should use an equal sign and that's really terrible, I apologize. Um, but that's what we mean by right hand and left hand limits. Now, there are certain situations where this can come up. Lots of times it's piecewise defined functions, but not all the time. We'll speed up the erasing part here. For example, we might have y equals int of x, okay? This is the greatest integer function, all right? And the greatest integer function, if you don't remember, let's make a little graph here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is all going by ones, obviously. Okay, the greatest integer function basically truncates the decimal. So for instance, the input, if your input is zero, then the output is zero. If your input is 0.5, then the output is still zero. Okay, so it's zero, zero, zero until you get to one, and at one, the function jumps to there. And then if you put in 1.2, you still get one, 1 1.3, you still get one, you get one until you hit two, and then it jumps again, and this keeps going. So you have an open dot here, you have a solid dot here, you have an open dot here, you have a solid dot here, and it just continues, okay? So you could ask a question like, what is the limit as x approaches 3 from the right? Why don't we try from the left? Why don't we try 2? Good job, Crosswell. 2 from the right of f of x. Okay? And so you look at 2, and you're coming in from the right-hand side. So here's 2, and so we're following the function from the right. What, is, what are the y values approaching from the right-hand side? And it looks like they're getting closer to 2. All right, so then we could say, well, what about the other side from the left? So you check from the left. As you approach x 
Um, as you approach two from the right, hell darn it. As you approach two from the left hand side, what are the Y values approaching? Well, they're approaching one. In fact, they're always one until you hit the jump discontinuity. So they're approaching one. Okay, so we have that. And then we have what is the definition of a limit, um, or what is going to rely on the definition of a limit, is if we evaluate or we try to evaluate the limit as x approaches 2, what is that answer? Because the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit approach different values, this limit cannot exist. So this one does not exist. And of course, you can see that. You can see that here. This is jump discontinuity. But that is the definition of a limit. Once you know what the left-hand and right-hand limit, what that means, then we can say this. If the limit as x approaches c from the right of f is equal to the limit as x approaches c from the left of x, and both of these things are equal to L, some number, then the limit as x approaches c of the function not only exists, but is also equal to L. And that's probably pretty obvious at this point, just because we've talked so much about as you come in from the left-hand side, as you come in from the right-hand side, what is the value that the function or the y values approach? Okay. All right. I want to give you an example here to do. And I'm going to draw it out, and I'm going to sort of go quickly. I'll speed up the video or whatever as I draw it. And then I will uh, and list out the problems I'd like you to solve, and then I'll play the the solution in normal speed, okay? Okay, this is the graph that you're going to um, use to answer the following questions. All right, so we'll just run through all four of these real quick. Limit as x approaches zero from the left, or from the right, excuse me. Coming up to here, that's one. Limit as x approaches 2 from the left. As x approaches 2 from the left, we're going here, and we're going to get 1. Limit as x approaches 2 from the right. This side is going to approach 1. Limit as x approaches 2 in general. Well, because the left-hand side and the right-hand right -hand side both go to 1, this must be 1. Okay? And there is a discontinuity here, and maybe we should throw this in there as well as a part E. But f of 2 is actually equal to 2. Right? So you can see that everything seems to be going to 1, and that's fine. But the actual function value is this dot right here, um, which is 2. And we could ask other questions about this. But I think if you could answer these 4 or 5 here um, on your own, then you probably have a pretty good um, idea of right and left hand limits. Okay. And that's it for this video. We'll do a short video on the... Uh, squeeze theorem later on.